this video we'll be looking at the written method of addition, which the children call chimney sums. Uh, we'll have to go through a few different examples. So starting with quite a straightforward example, where we're not making any extra tens or any extra hundreds. A really important point with this is to make sure that the hundreds, the tens and the units of each number are all underneath each other in line. This helps a lot when it comes to um, carrying out, working out and recording where the numbers are supposed to be. So if we take this example, we're always going to be starting with the units first. So we're just doing two add five, which is seven. Tens, we've got three lots of 10 or 30 and four lots of 10 or 40. So we're doing 30 add 40 but the children can do three add four to help them. So we've got three tens add four tens, which gives you seven tens altogether. And then you've got two lots of a hundred add one lot of a hundred. And again, you can do two add one to help, which gives you three. So you don't have any extra tens or any extra hundreds to worry about. And so it gives you 377. If we just change that slightly, so in this example, we're going to make an extra 10. And in this case, we've got eight units add seven units, which gives us 15. So 15 is made up of one 10 and five units, which means that the five units stays where it is. The one extra 10 can either be recorded here it could also be recorded up here as a little one. The extra 10 that's been made from the units is carried over into the tens column. And again, in this case, we've got three lots of 10, four lots of 10, and our extra one 10 that we made with our units, which means that we've got eight lots of 10 altogether. Then we've got 200 add 100, which gives us 300. So our answer is 385. In an example where we make an extra 100, so for example, again starting with the units, making sure all of our numbers are underneath in the correct column, we've got 8 add 1 which gives us 9, 30 add 80 or 3 lots of 10 add 8 lots of 10 which gives us 11 lots of 10 or 110, so we've got 30 add 80, which gives us 110, which means that the 10 can stay where it is. The extra 100 can take, uh, is taken into the hundreds column. Again, either recorded down here, or would be a little one up here. And now you've got 200 add 100 add the extra 100 that you made with the tens. That gives you four, so 419 altogether. Last example would be if you have a number where you're adding on and making an extra 10 and an extra 100 at the same time. Again, making sure units, 10s and 100s are all underneath each other. You've got eight units, add seven units, which gives you 15 altogether. Again, the five stays in the units, extra 10 is made, take it into the tens column. Then you've got three lots of 10, add eight lots of 10, add the extra 10 that you made, which gives you 12 lots of 10 or 120. So the 20 can stay in the tens column. The extra 100 goes to the hundreds column. And now you've got 200, add 100, add 100, which gives you 425. 